future of mobility is something that has on one hand huge opportunities, on the other hand also some challenges. What we are as regulator uh, for the global vehicle market are doing is that we try to include all these new technologies, these new opportunities in our regulatory framework. The regulatory framework that we are servicing at the United Nations are in the amount of some 150 individual regulations for different parts and components of vehicles. All these elements have to be adjusted to the new technology that will allow to put on the market this new automated and maybe in future also autonomous and very important also connected vehicles. As the whole system, and it is a system, is not only one component, uh, we need to have a real holistic approach. We have to bring all parts on one table, bring all the groups together to find a common approach for solutions for all these elements that are now approaching us with the change in technology. Yeah, cybersecurity as one of the challenges that comes together with uh, this new technology on connectivity. Uh, it is nothing new, it is already there as soon as you have a radio in your car, you are connected. And this was one first element where hackers were able to take control of a car. It is not an automated car, it was not a new car, it's an existing car that has been hacked and the hackers then, of course this was an exercise with friendly hackers, so the driver knew that something will happen, but the, he got the information, okay, now uh, I will switch on your uh, windscreen wipers. This was an easy way. Then he said, okay, now I will reduce the power of your engine, which was not so easy because the driver saw in the mirror a truck approaching from behind. And then on a safe area, he was informed, try to brake, but the brakes were not working anymore. So hackers are already today in the position to have very huge influence on our cars. Now, knowing this, uh, we have started to work together with our colleagues from ITU, from the International Telecommunication Union, to work on guidelines for cyber security and also for software updates over the air, because this is the next door opening to this challenge. With this uh, cooperation, we have elaborated a first set of guidelines that are currently in a part of a resolution, a United Nations resolution, and we are transforming these guidelines into really hardcore legislation into a UN regulation that will hopefully be final, maybe if you are lucky, by end of this year.